Okay, this problem says the average woman spends 60 minutes getting ready to leave the house for work. If the standard deviation is 15.8 minutes, what percentage of women will spend more than 110 minutes getting ready? So this problem is using information we had in an earlier problem, um, but it doesn't ask us to find a minimum percentage, right? It says what percentage of women will spend more than 110 minutes getting ready, right? So it has that idea of finding the percentage of women um, related to some number here, but it doesn't have an interval like we normally expect to see. This problem, if you look carefully here, they give us the mean and they tell us the standard deviation, but they don't say that it's bell-shaped or normally distributed or anything like that. So we have to assume Chebyshev's theorem is the only applicable theorem here. Um, but we don't have an interval like we normally do. So what do we do in that instance? Well, what we want to do then is kind of create an interval because really we can't do a problem using Chebyshev's theorem absent of an interval. We have to have an interval always. So let's create an interval. So this problem is kind of unique in that way. You'll know it's that kind of a problem when you see that they only give you one number here to work with instead of giving you an, inter an interval to work with, right? So we still have a mean, we still have a standard deviation, but we are not given an interval to work with. And they also don't talk about the minimum percentage. They just say, you know, speak about what percentage of women will spend more than 110 minutes getting ready. So let's see if we can use Chebyshev's theorem to infer that. So the first step is going to be to find an interval. So let's say step one, find an interval. So we have to create an interval. Here's how you're going to do that. You're going to like basically create a number line. And think about on that number line where your mean is located. Your mean is 60, right? This is the mean. Now, relative to the mean, 110 is on the right-hand side. And what we want to figure out is what's the difference between 110 and 60? If you subtract these two with your calculator or in your head, you will find the answer is 50, right? There's a difference of 50 between these two numbers. There's a space of 50 between 60 and 110. The intervals involved in Chebyshev's theorem must be, must be symmetric, so if from 60 to 110 is 50 units away, we have to have another space on the other side that's also 50 units away that will lead to the lower limit. And again, it has to be below the mean because the interval has to surround the mean in a symmetric manner, right? So if I take 50 from 60, I get the resulting 10, right? Subtracting 50 from 60 gives me 10. So that's going to be my magic interval then. The interval from 10 to 110 is symmetric around the mean, and that means it's a candidate to be used for Chebyshev's theorem. So as we've been doing before, the next step is going to be to get k. So usually k is our first step, but here we didn't have an interval, so we had to find the interval before we could get k. Now we have this formula, get k. Remember, k will be the limit minus mu over sigma. Remember, I'm using limit here to represent either one of these limits. It doesn't matter which one you choose. Usually we use the upper limit to make our k positive. However, of course, if you use the bottom one, you'll get a negative k. In the formula, it's squared, so it'll still turn out to be the right answer either way. Let's use 110. Subtract off the mean. The mean is 60. And then divide by the standard deviation, which is given to us as 15.8. Okay, so that's going to work out to be... 50 divided by 15.8. And when we do that, we end up with the following results. 3.1645 dot dot dot. That goes on and on and on, right? So we'll leave that off to the side now and go to the next phase of the problem. In step three, we're going to use the formula at least 1 minus 1 over k squared times 100% of the data will be in the interval. Okay, now this interval is the interval we created, right? So we're going to find out the answer to what percent, what minimum percent is within that interval. All right, so let's plug in the k and see what that gives us. 1 minus 1 over 3.1645 dot 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 squared times 100%, right? All right, let's see what that calculation gives us. 1 minus 1 divided by 
3.16455 just plugging in the full K. You can round it, of course, but if you plug in the full K, you get a number that's basically, with any rounding rule, 90%. And so now at this moment, we have to stop and we have to analyze what we've just done. We found out that at least 90% of the women will spend between 10 minutes and 110 minutes getting ready to leave for work. But here's the thing, we weren't asked about this interval, were we? So we know now at this moment that at least 90% are inside the interval from 10 to 110. We know that much, that's what we've discovered. But that's not what we were looking for. We wanted to know what percent of women will spend more than 110 minutes. So we have to think about is, look, what could be outside of that then? If at minimum there's 90% inside the interval, what's the most that could be outside of the interval? Well, the answer is 10%. At most, 10%. It's at most 10% because, of course, it could be zero. It could be that all of the women fit between 10 and 110 minutes, right? That could be possible because this is the minimum percentage inside the interval. It could be more than 90, it could be up to 100. And if it's 100 inside the interval, there's nothing outside of the interval. The other thing you might ask is, well, okay, let's assume it was 90, for example, if it was exactly 90, you know, how would I know that it's 10% above 110? Maybe the other 10% get ready before 10 minutes, right? Maybe some people just roll out of bed and brush their hair and they go to work and it takes them less than 10 minutes to get ready. You know, then perhaps there isn't anything above 110 at all. Remember, Chebyshev's theorem has no assumption about symmetry, so there's no reason for us to believe that, you know, even if there was 10% located outside of the interval, there's no reason to believe that it's 5% and 5% split up on the two sides. It could all be over here. Part of it could be over here. Part of it could be over here. There's no guarantee that it's split up evenly among the two ends. So our answer then, the best answer we can give is that if I want to know the percentage of women who spend more than 110 minutes, well, it's at most 10%. It can't be any more than that because we know this interval contains at least 90%.